five. But hey, whatever. I'm an American. We have more cultural gun knowledge than you have in your military. Right? Like our our school children know how to fight uh, how to shoot firearms better than probably half the soldiers in your fucking division. Oof. All right. A British person does not do a dick measuring contest with an American when it comes to firearms. Come on. Our middle schoolers could outshoot you. Yeah, that's, this stream is messed up on Twitch's end. You. Yeah, that's, this stream is messed up on Twitch's end. Oh, it's coming through. I've got a clean, uh, I've got a secondary stream here and it's clean. Hang on. Let me check the mobile. Yeah, refresh. Force refresh. Force refresh. Yeah, I've just checked uh, two different feed streams. Um, Fabian, I saw that too. Dude, Scott, I saw that too. I saw the, I, I saw the, the change in the number. I had to turn off low latency. Hmm, weird. Um, what did you say about the incel in the UK? Um, hey, Beaver, come on the air. Come on the air, Beaver. Come on, put up or shut up. Have the conversation. Have the conversation. I think I'm going to try and restart my computer. I'll be back. Okay. Twitch status. Maniac. Hey, Anya. How are you doing, Anya? Are you that dumb, Beaver? Oh, you know what? What I'm missing, actually? That's what I was missing. Come on the air. You don't know what a Discord link is. Boomer. Boomer beyond belief. Uh, no, it works in browser. You don't need the app. It works in browser. You don't even need to have it installed. Well, he can't even role play being in the military. That's pretty stupid. Fair enough. So what platform are we going to have our shoot off with? Hey. So what, what platform are you going to choose? Hey, Puka. Are we doing M4s, MP5s, 9mm SIGs? I prefer Steyr Scout 308s, but we're going we're gonna to do this, right? Um... Viva, don't boomer shame. Actually, I can. He'd probably choose a twenty-two. Oh, I'd hate to. I'd hate to break him. Uh, that's not how fetishes work. But feel free to use words you don't understand. It's okay. I, I get that you don't have the highest level of education. You're just, you know, a grunt. 
It's okay. There's a place for everybody in this world. It, Liberty, Scott, I saw as well. I saw it happen as well, Scott. Anyway, um, so I want to actually talk to somebody who was actually in the military, like for real. Um, Scott, if you want to jump on the air, feel free. Um, it'd be just, I, it'd, we don't even have to talk military topics. I just, I, I just need a palate cleanser for somebody who like was actually in the military and is now not a leech on society and understands the harm that, um, those sort of systems can cause either way. Uh, let's see what else we have. Uh, native American population has jumped to the largest size in, uh, modern history from the uh, last census. Um, they grew by 27.1% to 3.7 million people over the last decade. So the last decade saw a jump of 27.1% for uh, Native American or Alaskan Native are the two options for that category. Um, but yeah, they're up to 3.7 million people, which I mean, given how far we whittled them down from, but... Um, uh, before the 20th century, the Native American population had actually been uh, reduced to fewer than 250,000 uh, individuals. So, I mean, fast forward a little bit, up from 200 uh, sub 250,000 to um, 3.7 million. That's, I mean, you know, that's a comeback. Um, but by numbers, they only account for approximately 1.1% of the people uh, living in the United States. But that is a comparable jump for up from 0.9% in 2010. So, you know, making gains. Um, that's, you know, we talk to indigenous people on a fairly decent, like, you know, regular basis on this channel. I, I, I'd like to see more representation, frankly. Um, hey, let's see. We have we have one person who knows what they're talking about with economics, and we have one person who is actually in the military. What a concept. What a concept. What's up, Scott? None much. None much. Yeah, I was actually a uh, quality control census field supervisor for the uh, post enumeration for two operations. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I, you know, I, I there's like some stuff I can say and some stuff I can't say just because of my security clearance. Say that, V. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. I, I really like seeing this this uh, Native American population jump, and also I like the fucking percentage drop for white people because that's gonna freak a bunch of those white replacement theorists out, and that always amuses me when that happens. Yeah, yeah. But that's what I was what I was trying to say earlier is that um, you know, it's been like this for a while. Right. But the last few censuses, they didn't count undocumented workers or illegal aliens, you know, whatever, whatever your uh, preferred phraseology is. Right. Yeah. Um, because they, you know, there was this kind of like, so they would count some of them. Right. But the problem is, is that when you're asking people whether or not they're undocumented and you go, <laughs> I can just speak from experience, right. You go into an apartment complex where one yeah. of the few people who speaks English is like the the manager of the apartment complex, right? Like no one's answering the door for the government to be counted. No, that's that's just OPSEC 101. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. No, I'm you good. know, like hi. You know. Hi, I'm here from I'm here from the federal government. How many of there are you in there? <laughs> um, mm. Let me let me tell you if 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 uh, undocumented workers ever listened to Ronald Reagan once, they definitely listened to the scariest phrase that you can hear is, hi, I'm from the government and I'm here to help. help. Oh, it just, you know, yeah, <laughs> there's there's no way to get an accurate count on that number. There's just right. So, the, but they did, a, they did a ton of outreach because what most people don't realize about the census is um, the census consists of about 10 operations, right? that takes place over about four years, right? And so the first operation of the decennial census, and this is public knowledge, so I can say this without it being an issue, is is like address check, right? So they start to to check their, their own records and like see who's moved and who hasn't moved in like what would 
previously be permanent residences and then like they're looking for new addresses that might have popped up that's not collected on their data and stuff and they did a lot of outreach during this phase actually during the trump administration he took it to court right um that was that supreme that was when Mm -hmm. this was before the supreme court kind of struck down him trying to get the the qualifier added to the census it's kind of a it's kind of a back and forth thing though right because now that the undocumented workers are counted, you know, sanctuary cities and blue states have additional representation in Congress as well as additional <laughs> electoral votes. Or I should say more so didn't lose them. I'm sorry to cut you off, but this douchebag is so fucking funny. <laughs> Radical, enjoy your borrowed language and land that was founded by the English. Yeah, sure, we'll go with that. Your thoughts aren't your He's own. living in Nevada. Your thoughts aren't your own. You are a Omega male slash thing. You, he's living in Nevada. So like we already laughed at you because 60% of the vocabulary of, of English is proto French. Right. But also he's living in Nevada. We, we, we bought Nevada from the French. <laughs> you literally don't know anything. Yeah. From the Mexicans. yeah and yeah. Stolen from the Mexicans. <laughs> Well, I mean, you know, yeah, you, 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 you know, we're weak. You know what I mean? Like, fit, you know. Fit, 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 uh, um, that's fucking. <laughs> oh, yeah, the English language is uh, Saxon, Germanic, and French. That's God. it's not even English. That's fucking hilarious. Um, uh, and I thought you were Sigma. See, this is this is the hilarity of it, right? Like anybody who understands what I'm about, um, yeah, he thinks he owned me. It's fucking hilarious. Anybody who understands, like from my community, who understands what I'm about sexually, it's like you're an Omega male slash thing. Oh no, I am hurt. I am so gutted. Whatever shall I do? You want to fuck now, bro? Like, I, I, that's all I can assume is he's I, coming I, on to me. Uh, you don't you don't want to fuck him because no, he doesn't of course look not. weights. Uh, well, I don't want to fuck him because he's some pasty British dude. Like that's what if, it, what if he was he I mean he could be black, you don't know. And based on the fact that he did not say anything about me calling him a pasty fucking uh British dude, if he had a like mm-hmm. come back to that he would have. Um, but yeah, I was just, I was just, I was just trying to point out that like that that big jump that you see in the census, a, a large portion of that is because of the, per, the 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 percentile difference, right, of the amount of un uncounted, uh, undocumented workers that are overwhelmingly Latino, right, and yeah. and now they're now they're counted, so you see a big jump in the last census. It's more it's more gradual than the than the save the whites people would have you believe. I, you know, I'm willing to accept the, uh, the, the lack of nuance in the statistical analysis. If it means it pisses those people off, (laughs) if it freaks them out even more then I'm okay with it. I'm I'm, right. Yeah. Fuck those guys. (laughs) Fuck those guys. Why? Um, This one, this is one of the more popular things on my YouTube channel was, was, you know, um, me starting to look at different racial groups in America and just kind of dispelling this myth that we even have white people or black people in America. Like if, if you're a first or second generation immigrant in America, or you come from a long line of really wealthy white people, you might be mostly white or all white, but like barring that you're, you're, you're almost certainly mixed race. To certain to a certain degree in the United States, I had to look up what the fuck. Uh, who is this? Golden facts. You look like you're ready to raid a Tilly's. I had to look up what a fucking Tilly's was. I'm like, what the fuck is a Tilly's? Clothing store. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's it as near as I can tell, it's comparable to like a Pack Sun sort of situation. Mm. In which case, yeah, sure. Like Billabong, fucking Element, Quicksilver, fucking yeah. Like if I were in high school again, yeah. You know, what's really funny about that is uh, is Pak Pak San is why I joined the army. Um, I want to ask more on that, but Square, your molecules are from Arcturus. Your whole larynx is formed by RNA codes in human DNA. All of you is space dust, galactic owned. 
Um, not sure if you saw Bobby's, Bobby's comment, Oof. but he was mentioning a portion of that jump in indigenous people is also them now self-identifying, which is great. Uh, skeptic, I'm first generation Canadian. Um, let's see. Golden, do they sell clothing there? Because if so, it's a clothing store. Oh, are we? Oh, we did. Oh, we did. Okay. Well, there we go. Um, somebody literally spent 30,000 channel points to get rid of you, Beaver, for 10 minutes. Um, based on the fact that you're British and you're British Army, I don't expect you to be able to last that 10 minutes. Um, but, you know, we'll see. Anyway, how did Pax Sun cause you to end up to be in the military? Because I was a fucking loser and I was, I was, so I was traveling the East Coast with Armenian gypsies. Now, before you get mad at me using that word, they called themselves that. So fair enough. Th that that's that group. I'm not like slurring them because they're Armenians. Like they said, they were gypsies. Um, and um, and, but I was only doing it like part time. So it was like I'd, I'd get a job and be gone for two weeks. And so I was in a mall, and uh, and I and I walked into a Paxson to put in an application, mm. and I was just like, nope, fuck this. Where's the recruiter? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Pax, <laughs> like, Pax Sun was your bottom. Like that was, it was you, my rock bottom. That was your rock was bottom like, was no, Pax Sun. You're like, I can't do this. Um I, I, well, I just made that moniker. I, I don't want to get into uh, discussion because yeah, it look, gets weird. Yeah, it's I just said that thing. so that no one would be like, hey, what the fuck? That's messed up. Like I just wanted to be like, no, they said that. Um, yeah, Rev is saving, uh, is saving his thirty thousand to time me out. Um, I've said that it's it's demo it, it is like heterarchical. If somebody wants to time me out, they can. What I will do is just fucking do a chair stream for ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, whatever. <laughs> Fuck it, I'll just. He's gonna, get he's gonna time you out on a Friday before bad movie night, so that you can actually make your fucking dinner beforehand. Yeah, what a concept, right? <laughs> um, question about natives, as in like Native Americans, I presume, as in like indigenous people. Question about natives, though. How many nations are left that originate east of the Mississippi, other than Cherokee? Okay, one. Um, I would not be comfortable answering any of those questions without rabbit around. Because rabbit yeah. rabbit could give definitive answers to that, um, yeah. The, the the person that we would want to consult would be uh would be rabbit. Um, and if you're yeah, it's not it's something you can do unless you're super educated on it. Because like what what a nation is is really difficult to define. It depends on like are you using the state's definition from like treaties and such. Sh are you using Shroom their own definition like Shroom Life? You could use a search engine or you could use a professor of anthropology who is a special uh, who specializes in indigenous studies and is indigenous themselves, which is who we have in the community in the form of rabbit. Right. So your Google search is not going to be equivalent to somebody who has spent his lifetime researching these topics and teaching them at a professorial level. It's a difference between your Facebook medical degree and somebody who works for the CDC. So there you go. Um, I don't know, man. There's some smart moms in those Facebook groups. Yeah, I know, right? Um, I, As I understand it, do, were you there for the fucking, like, the Colorado mom with the, the flu shot? Oh she dude no 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 sorry i mean i was i was there but like i was watching my kids so like um, i occasionally got snippets she um she her kid her like single digit single digit kid right comes down with the flu pretty bad case of it the doctors prescribed tamiflu she goes on facebook and says they prescribed tamiflu what should i do and the fucking facebook group tells her to put onions in his socks and that will help cure it. So she did what they told him to do. The, the baby basically died of the flu. I mean, you should do, you should do both actually. Cause that actually does help. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Like, like no bullshit. No. <laughs> Onions in the socks actually no. helps. I don't know about no. babies though. No, just no. Unequivocally. No, no, no. <laughs> You know what they call alternative medicine that works? Medicine. Medicine. Exactly. Yeah. 
I mean, I'm, I'm with you, but I mean, it's worked for me before. My, uh, I, I, I learned that from my, uh, from my Melungeon grandmother that was like half black and half Cherokee. Sh Shroom life. She did that shit to me, and I was like, "Oh fuck, it helped!" Like, but it's not something you do in lieu of the fucking doctor's request. That's who it is. It's Tim Minchin. I'm like, who the fuck's quote quote is that? I always forget. <coughs> Tim. Yeah. Um. Yeah. It, it was it's a hot take. I don't know. So I'm just just throwing that out there. It does help. I don't know if you should do it to a fucking baby though. Um. Let's see. Uh, yeah, um, well, let's see. My ancestors um, colonated. <laughs> if, your if you ancestors colonated here are the Britishes, would, would it that mean all Americans have a will of British in them? Lol. Um, Not all, but a significant amount of us have Anglo-Saxon DNA. My maternal side has a heavy dose of Scot-Irish which after 800 years of imperialistic rule, there's definitely some raping and murdering going on there by the, by the British. So there's going to be some, some influence there. My paternal side, of course, though, has, is Germanic, straight up. So, you know, like British royalty, basically. Um, and so, yeah. <laughs> um, let's see. As an Irish person, fuck the English. You know, just as, as a human being, fuck the English. <laughs> yeah, I can't I can't really say fuck to any group because I'm such a fucking mutt. Um I'm like ten percent English. Fuck that. Fuck that. Well, you know, oh, prima yeah. nocta, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that is, dude, that's how, um, does anybody watch, um, oh God, what's his name? Ryan, whatever the fuck his name is. The guy who does, um, pitch meetings. Um, he, he does like the first guy to skits as well. And one of them is the first guy to ever be king. And mm. it is just some of the most hilarious shit. Like, yeah, like if you look over there, that's all mine. But how? Because I said so. Well, what? But and yeah, if you like look over there, that's all mine too. Basically, everywhere you look, it's all mine now. All of your stuff is mine. Well, but that's how. How does that work? Oh well, you see, I've got a bunch of guys who like are ready to do violence when somebody disagrees with me. And if you disagree with me, they're going to hurt you. Like it is, it is just, he does those sorts of things. Like first guy in jail, first guy to be King, first guy to, you know, and yeah, some of them are fucking brilliant that you're just like, that's pretty much how that works is, yeah, oh, by the way, your wife is mine too. If I want her, there's a really good book. I know this is like kind of serious as opposed to, you know, the, the humor, humor you're bringing on. But there's a really good book by a uh, sociologist of religion called Robert Bella. I'm sorry. He, his name is Robert Bella. Um, the book is um, the evolution of religion from the from something to the axial age. Um, it was supposed to be a part two, but unfortunately, he died. Harvard Press, by the way. So not like a bullshit, not just like a regular sociology text. Great book. And um, and he talks about the evolution of um, chiefdoms and how chiefdoms become kings. And actually, some of the 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 more accurate, um, uh, like what historians and sociologists now believe, is that the ch as the chiefdom grows, the ones that succeeded were the ones that were able to create r religion that didn't base upon like the land or ancestors, but created gods, and that cultures that were able to create gods were able to. Um, like sociologically and culturally submit themselves to that like level of hierarchical structure and that like you needed, you needed a belief in God or gods in order to, in order to rise to the scalability of accepting a King and cultures that didn't were just too small and got taken over by other cultures that had Kings because they had bigger fucking armies. And then the divine right of Kings is born. Yeah, yeah, it's basically a couple dudes get together and they're like, hey, there are these things called gods. And we're like, yeah. And then it's like, and this guy 
He he speaks for the gods. He's born by the gods. He's the oh, chosen by the gods. His name is Ryan George, by the way. I looked it up. Uh, the guy who does the the pitch meetings and stuff. And that is a part of that king skit. Is oh, and God speaks to me, and he's, he's like, yeah, he's uh, he just he's like, oh, and God speaks to me uh, sometimes. He's, but God speaks through me, and it's like, okay, wait, hang on. Yeah, he says I should be king. I, I, I didn't hear anything. Oh, well, I did. Like, it, it's it's like that. Yeah, no. It be the Ricky Gervais movie where, like, no one can lie except for him. And he, like, the man in the sky says, don't be dicks to each other. <laughs> yep. It, it's it's a good scam. Um, I like Patton Oswalt's take on it. Um, the, the sky cake. I, I miss old Patton Oswalt. I do Jesus. miss old Patton as well. Um, yeah, new Patton is entirely too serious. Um, but given what he went through, I kind of understand it. Um, but Mm -hmm. yeah, his, his old sky cake bit about how like, you know, basically religion was created by a dude like, like me, like him. He goes like, like me. It's like, what am I going to do? I can't fight the big dude with the club in the cave, but you know what I can do? Convince him that there's a, uh, there's a scary man in the sky. Who's not going to give him sky cake. If he hit, if he hurts me. (laughs) Yep. Uh, Let's see. Oh, so a lot of tribal members, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Bobby. That's it's pretty much. Um, and people agreeing that that was a good movie. Um, yeah, I, no, Viva. He didn't. His wife did. His wife basically figured out who a serial killer was. Um, and she wrote a giant. She she did an expose expose on it, and she started writing a book about it, and then she died. Um, and he finished the book on her behalf. Um, and uh, yeah, like left left him with a very young daughter at the time. Forgive me, I'm messaging someone. Here we go. Um, Sven, what part about me makes you think that that would be the dynamic that I would assume sexually? Back, sorry. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah. Um, Jesus Christ. Uh, wait, where was nonsense? There we go. Um, oh, Jesus Christ. Nonsense. Oof. Just oof nonsense. That's a rough one. I'm sorry to hear that, man. Yeah, Rev, exactly. Ass backwards. Just ass backwards on that one. Um, well, beastical most the best doms start off as subs or at least do some sub training, but the fact of the matter is is that not everyone does the switch. Some of us like our positions. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, man, nonsense. No worries. I'm, I'm sorry to hear that, man, though. That, that fucking sucks. I suspect my uncle just had to be intubated while my mom was explaining to me her expert knowledge on CRT while I was encouraging her to find a new son. He's a 70-year-old Jesus freak racist who has cancer and COVID. Sweet guy mostly, just a dumb asshole too. Funny thing is, two days ago, I just started writing a country song called Jesus Kidnapped Your Uncle and Won't Give Him Back. Hey, <laughs> Marcus. Yes. Um, Kai likes a switch, but a very different meaning of the word. Um Yeah, nonsense. Here's what we're um here's what we're gonna do for you tonight though, nonsense. Tonight, are we we're not okay, we're we're um oh by the way, um that was the most apparent 
and flagrant example of the Twitch algorithm and the obfuscation of accurate numbers I have ever right? seen. I have ever witnessed. That was ridiculous, Scott. Like, take- yeah, no, because it happens to me all the time where like I'll I'll languish at like eight or nine views and I'm looking at my mod view and I've got like 20 lurkers. Um, yeah. Yeah, that we we went from uh, we went from like seventy two to like one hundred and fifteen instantly. Well, one of them was one twenty one. One twenty one was the high water mark. There you go. See, this is the thing. Like Scott and I have had this conversation before. Like Twitch, Twitch's algorithm and their their API for refreshing numbers and how they're counting is obfuscated. Um, and so like there is there is shit fuckery afoot, folks. There is shit well, fuckery like, afoot. It's like. Dylan Burns is live right now, right? And I'm not telling you to leave Kai's chat. Don't do that. But if you want to, you know, open up another tab, go to him with 884 people viewing, and then just look at the speed at which his chat goes by and see if it makes sense huh? that Kai is at 10% the viewers that he is. Yeah, it, it's uh, Rev. It's it's a person that political streamers are familiar with. Let's just put it that way. Um. Yeah, there is there is shenanigans afoot. Let's just put it that way. Um, like they're doing a panel right now, but I mean, like the chat is moving slower than your chat. Of course it is, or roughly the same slow, speed. Do they have slow chat on them? Nope, slow mode is not turned on, and not follower only or anything like that. Yep. Um. So yeah, it, it is actually a thing. Like we've we've talked about it. There's some weird obfuscation. The algorithm is strange. The API refresh rates are odd. How they choose to update and when is completely unknown to most people. Um, yeah, there's there's shit fuckery. Um, either way, I moved us over to just chatting. Um, and um, nonsense. It is Breen's night. Um, it, tonight is Friday night. It is Breen night. We are restarting the Breen filmography at at square one. Ah! Um, we are doing the first two movies tonight. Um, it is uh, Double Down, which was released in 2005. And then the 2009 uh, um, I Am Here dot 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 now. It is not ellipses. It is not three periods in a row. It is four. Uh, I am here dot, 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 now. All capitals. Um, so, yeah, we are doing the first two films in the, in the Breen filmography tonight. We are going to fucking nonsense is going to have a good old time. That's, keep, that's kept me going, right? Right? Um, oh, fucking it is going to be a good old time for those who want to attend um uh oh what the fuck oh fuck it. brain some sense is coming too rock the fuck on um <laughs> so it's officially cool yep sun sense is going to be there um yeah you you if you are Dude, if you have never attended a bad movie night, now is the night to attend. Um, fucking brain. Hey, Kai. Yes. Someone please, I'm sending you a message. Okay. Real quick. Please fucking explain this to me. Uh, okay. Okay. Let me pull that. One sec. Um, and then another link. <laughs> How many links are there? It's just it's just two. That's uh, what? I don't this links to Rothbard's Anatomy of the State, right? Yeah. Why is Jack Dorsey oh. tweeting out? Oh, is that who that is? That's Jack Dorsey of Twitter. Why, yeah, why is Jack Dorsey, like, just randomly tweeting out fucking Rothbard all of a sudden? <laughs> what? Sir, you are not on our side. What is happening? Um, 
that's weird. How? Yeah, I'm going to go view the replies on this one. This is weird. It did Jack Dorsey get hacked? Or does he think he's a libertarian? And that's like beyond libertarian, right? Like that's not, oh, yeah. that's, I mean, it's, that's, it's Mises. that's ANCAP philosophy. Well, that's I mean, not it's, like, it's Mises Institute. It's fucking Rothbard. It's definitely like proto ANCAP at the, at the very least. I'll give it, you know, but yeah, I mean, he makes the argument as to why a Supreme Court shouldn't exist in that in that essay, right? You know what I mean? Like, I just like, I'm sorry, and all of the people who fucking like, dude, you've officially been Rothbarded. Can't believe I'm seeing this from a major CEO. Respect, like, really? I mean. It's fucking Jack Dorsey, you idiots. Yeah, a whole bunch of fucking welcome, Jack. Uh, uh, Jack, I'm so proud of you. Uh, do you really want Jack Dorsey on your team? No. <laughs> like, that's that's that would be my question to most of these people is like, do, do you, like, is that really who you want? But... The guy who who set up censoring conservatives, like, <laughs> sorry, I didn't mean to hijack. I just saw no, this and I thought yeah, it was like newsworthy. Yeah, like, that's, that's fucking wild. We that's weird as shit. That's weird as shit. That's that's. I'm th I, yeah, I'm like, did he get hacked? That's I, what I'm thinking. I don't. I don't know what to make of that. We'll see. We'll see what happens with that. Um. So. Yeah, like that's that's a whole thing. Um, Jack go nonsense says uh, Jack goes through phases. Um, <laughs> Jack Jack Jack's doing ayahuasca right now and is fucking just reading fucking Rothbard like whoa. <laughs> I, think, I think he's going through the angsty uh, teenage atheist. <laughs> hey 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 Gaffodil. Um, yeah, I don't know what to make of that. Um, we'll see what comes of that. Um, either way, uh, yeah, so yeah, we're going to, I, I already have a quick cook planned, uh, for tonight. Um, so it will take me not that long to get the food prepared for tonight. Um, but basically, yeah, we're, we're going to do back to back, um, Neil Breen films tonight. Um, get high, get drunk. Whatever your fucking your 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 thing of choice uh, is, then I would suggest you you consume. Hey Brooke, I'm sorry I didn't make your stream. You went live right before I fucking went live, like like a punk bitch, Brooke. Um, Brooke's one of the OGs too. Again, Brooke came over from the Podbean days too. Um, but uh, stream when I'm not going live, Brooke, and I will happily um, or stream after me or something, and I'll raid into you. Um, I'll bring a fucking crew over for you. Either way. Uh, um, did this Jack ha do anything except having to do something with the Bluebird site? I mean, I'm sure he's done something else, but it's the Bluebird site. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's okay, Brooke. Um, Oh, let's see. Everyone put on their pasta water at the same time. He did some yoga shit, I think. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I, 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 God, that is, I am sort of, I don't know what to do with that. Um, it's, my, 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 my streaming partner just like sent it over to me and I'm just like, did he get hacked? Like what happened? Um, okay. So on Thursday, I'll be streaming before you. All right, then I'll stop by, um, Brooke, I'll stop by and hang out. 
No, Lada, you don't you don't have to care. It's about Jack Dorsey, the CEO of Twitter, potentially becoming a fucking libertarian or like Mises and Cap thing. Like, I, I don't know. We don't know. We don't know. We don't know. But in at the end of the day, no, Lada. You do not need to know. <laughs> um That is yeah, that's that's a weird one. I don't know. I don't know what to do with that information is all I have to say. Um, Maybe he'll get some ideas to save his dying website. Oh, well, I mean, then there's, yeah, that is an option, I suppose, right? Is it really dying? <laughs> I don't know. Is it really dying, though? I mean, I mean Facebook. Fuck, God, can we get rid of Facebook already? Like, how many, how many of you people still use Facebook? Just quick show of hands. Who here has Facebook? Who has an active Facebook account? Um, I do. Me. Just for shits and giggles. I mean, I do, but I got, I made my profile picture, a picture, a painting of Muhammad. And then, so they put me in lockdown and wanted me to delete it. And I told them to go, I just didn't. So it's hidden. (laughs) So like, okay. So, um, it seems like, it looks like 65%, maybe, maybe even 70% of you have Facebook. How many of you fuckers have Twitter? Um, I have a Twitter account. The only activity you'll see on it is when I push the button on my stream deck and it puts out a notice that I'm going live on it. <laughs> that's, that's, that's all of my Twitter activity. Um, Bobby, I have a Twitter account. I don't even know the password. Krusty got rid of it. Wither has a new account. Porn only Twitter account, and that's it. Got anything good, premarital? Um, Facebook, don't use it. I use Twitter. I have it, but don't do anything with it. Okay. So majority of people have Twitter. Um, and it seems like majority, but larger minority uh, majority have Facebook, but a larger minority don't have uh, Facebook as well, comparatively. Um, if I want to tell people when I'm taking a dump, I'll use Curio's Discord. Fair enough. Um, Crystal, no Facebook, no Twitter. Twitter, I'm just a Tumblr fuck. Oh, Crystal, I, I okay. I, I I know what you're about, Crystal. Um, well, don't make fun of furries, all right? Were you, did you see yesterday's stream? <laughs> no. Just messing with you. Oh, no. Um, this is happening temporarily. Oh. The entire fucking stream. Yeah. Yeah, nonsense. It was <clears throat> the entire stream. It, yeah, and I even I did an ear scratch at one point. I I did. I I did one of those. Um community picked them out. It had been a long time coming. I promised I would do it. They were paid for and picked out by the community. Um, and so they arrived yesterday before the stream. Um, well, yesterday was the late night stream. So I wore them uh, for the entire stream last night. Absolutely fucking ridiculous. <sighs> yes, Rev, it is the pair you found. Um so they may come back as a channel point redemption option that that may be a thing um we 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 may fuck around with that but oh, let's see hang on seriously still not back all right fine then mm. Uh, oh, 
premarital. Hang on. Premarital had an answer for me. Got some cute guys, a few twinks, all the ladies flock to OnlyFans after a week or two. So uh, rarely bother falling. Hmm, duly noted. I'm not, I, I, I uh, premarital, I, I, you know, occasionally I like to look at the twinks. They're pretty, um, but they don't do it for me. So now I just, we just have to get you into that black kilt with rainbow panels I found. Dude, that thing was badass, actually. That kilt was badass. That was a solid design on that kilt. I actually legitimately liked that kilt. I ain't paying for that kilt, but I liked it. Uh, some sense, one of the ear sets that we looked at had, uh, had a tail for it as well. Um, and yes, somebody was like, you could have a tail sticking out under that skirt. Um, Rev, do you have... It was, I don't know where, oh, no, fucking posting, actually searching. Here we go. Um, yeah, here we go. Copy link. Here you go. Um, Bobby there, there you go. There's the kilt. Uh, Rev, no, the, the one we looked at didn't, the, the tail didn't, well, the tail was attachable to other objects. You could you could attach it to whatever you chose to attach it to. So, that's very politic of you. Yeah. Right. Mm, there. Oh, hang on. Um. Yeah, no, I think I think that fucking kilt is here. I'll put it on stream for those of you who like may not have devices or whatever the fuck. Um, here's the kilt. I think it's a pretty fucking slick kilt. Oh, fuck off with your stupid pop-ups. Now. Yeah. I think it looks good. I don't necessarily like the style of here. I'm going to little close up. I don't necessarily like the style of kilts. I prefer skirts straight up. Like, um, yes, nonsense. Like, yeah, the, the colors when you spin would immediately pop. It's, it's, it's a good fucking look though. Um, Let's see, where is, let me refresh that. I feel like that's the greatest way to come out to your parents if everyone in your family was already wearing kilts. Just show up with the kilt and spin. Yeah, exactly. Like everything's chill until then you're just like, I'm here, and then just spin. And then it's just rainbows. <laughs> I'm like, no, son. Um, wait, what? Oh, what about an aggressive dominant twink for the contrast? Beasticle, I've seen, it, it, it's just, Beasticle, an aggressive dominant twink reminds me of like a 12 year old or some shit like that. Like literally going up to their parents and like, I'm grown. I can do what I want. I'm a, I'm a man and sort of shit. It's like, yeah, okay, sure you are, kid. Sit down. It just doesn't play. Um, or like those 19-year-old girls that are like, I'm mistress. And it's like, calm down. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, no, you aren't. <laughs> <laughs> pause take off that fucking leather and go get your cheerleading uniform on this is not how this night is going yeah exactly like there's there's i'm sorry a 20 something twink is not going to dom me <laughs> that's not how that's gonna work i'm gonna fucking there's no way they're gonna be able to activate that mode in my brain right like i'm i'm going to i'm gonna end up dominating them and that doesn't work for me sexually <laughs> so yeah, I would steamroll those little fucking twinks. So they'd be in subspace? 
I mean, I wouldn't even bother getting them there. I'd be like, I'm done. Fucking what? What? I, I have no no use for you. I still remember the look on your face when I you found out that I knew that term. Oh, uh, the fact <laughs> just that night was enlightening. That night was enlightening. Uh, not only do you know that term, you're in community. Um. Yeah. It's always the quiet ones you need to worry about, chat. No one plans a murder out loud. <laughs> uh, respect for the Swede. Yes. Respect for the Swede. Um, all right. Who's got who's got like um a fucking single digit streamer who they're fond of? Or maybe not fond of, I don't know. Uh well not single digit, but thirteen. Are you DeCobbs? Uh, student Dr. Ben. Okay. Because um, Cobbs was it? Um, um, oh, Trans male. Oh, God. It's, it's a fucking panel. It's a, a flank steak recipe and take a nap. So. Um, we'll see if anybody has got a one and then we'll consider it. Um, oh, uh, that, that squid person was in here fucking yesterday, last night. Um,. I could do that. They were in here. They were cool. Um, all right. Ricky the Great also. Let's see. What are they up to? Also streaming politics. You know, oh, he's doing the mic. Uh, they, I don't know. I, I don't want to. Um, all right. We're doing Ricky the Great. I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I like, I'm just doing that. I'm just, I'm making a snap decision. I just I, I like the, the the headwear, something 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 the aesthetic there. Um. Either way, if you're hanging out for bad movie night, we'll be over on vo voice chat here shortly. Um, right after the stream ends. Um, otherwise, if you're gonna hang out with Ricky the Great and say hi to them, by all means. Um, either way. Yeah, it's weekend weekend time for me. Um, I will see you guys on the server over the weekend. Um, we'll see if Kai is as frustrated as um, I expect he may be uh, on Monday. Either way, hope you guys are as well as you can be. Thanks for hanging out. Swede, Scott, everybody. Thanks. Catch you later. All right. All right. We are...